pray. Heavenly Father, I want to give you thanks for your Sabbath. I want to give you thanks, Lord, for the blessing that comes with today. And I pray that, Lord, we haven't said, We hope. I hope that we haven't said, think upon, behave in any way that would have been displeasing to you and even grieving your angels. I ask of you that they will help us to guard well the avenues of our souls so that whatever we do will be only about you, Christ, and not about ourselves. As we now go into a divine service, we're asking that thou wilt continue to be in our midst to bless and to do us good. In Christ's name. Amen. John chapter 7, verses 14 to 17. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learnt? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. I'll read 17 again. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself. All right. Our theme today is doctrine. Our first hymn is 394, 394, Far From All Care. Far from all care, we hail the Sabbath morning, o'er waving fields and from the distant sea. Judgment has set. 
The books have been opened. How shall we stand in that great day? One hand quickly. What is this? What is the theme of this song in terms of doctrine? What is this song about? The judgment. Very good. All right. Let us go. The judgment has been
but children of the heavenly king but children of the heavenly king may speak their joys abroad may speak their joys abroad everyone oh yes we're marching we're marching to zion beautiful 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 zion we're marching to heaven to heaven zion the beautiful city of god thousand sacred sweets before we reach the heavenly fields before we reach the heavenly fields or walk golden streets or walk the golden streets church Oh yes, we're marching, we're marching to Zion. Oh yes, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching over to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Then let, then let all. Songs abound and every tear be dry. We're marching, we're marching through Emmanuel's grounds. We're marching through Emmanuel's ground to farewell worlds on high to farewell worlds on. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Happy Sabbath, everyone. As we start another year, with we don't know what will come with it. But the year that has gone, we might have went through many trials and difficulties and problems. And we don't know what this year holds. But it's a great possibility based on the signs of the time that it is going to get worse because Jesus is coming is near. But through... It all God will be faithful because he has been faithful he ne he promises he will never leave us nor forsake us so he will continue to be faithful I've made promises I did not keep and I've said some things I didn't mean and was good intentions of giving my word and when it falls through it caused much hurt the time that the Savior who said just to me I'll never leave you where you are there I'll be he's always been there right by my side he stood the test of time 
just as Abraham and Sarah, who were promised a child, when it seemed impossible, God gave them a smile. Then there was Daniel, who fervently prayed and found him to be true in a trial of faith. The Hebrew boys who did not bow to the king who said, I see for now, they were not burnt as they shouted that day. This is what they had to say. My God has been faithful. He's our witnesses. Though I have failed him time and again, his love remains. He is unchanging. Though My God is faithful. Blessed Sabbath saints, it is a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. And it is my pleasure to welcome each and everyone to the house of the Lord as we worship him in spirit and in truth. May his name be glorified. Welcome to those who are joining us for the first time and special welcome to our regular members as we seek to finish the work in this part of the vineyard. Jesus is about to come. Indeed, saints, my God is faithful and we have no reason to doubt his faithfulness because we can see the evident of all he has been to us, even in this perilous time, he has kept us. All we need to do is to be obedient to the word of God. Just to add.
to what was said during the announcement is that, brethren, we will be coming to visit the brethren. We will be coming to meet the brethren in their home as we seek to get ready and for all of us to be ready. So whatever we need to share and whatever way we can help, the elders and deacons will be coming to visit the brethren. That is the direction that has been given from the word of God. That's how the leaders should operate. And remember, we are governed by the law and the testimony. We cannot deviate from the law and the testimony. So brethren, you can look out for us. So we will give more information as we progress by the grace of God. It is a blessing again, saints, to be in the house of the Lord. And there is no time for seven-day Adventists to have any long face. You must be joyful because what is happening is showing us that Jesus is about to come. And who are we looking for? We are looking for the second coming of Jesus. But he said in John chapter 14 verse 29, I tell you before it come to pass, so when you see you may believe. We know that perilous times must come, but these lead into the second coming of Jesus. Because when I am going home, as soon as I reach in the gorge, I start to feel good. I am leaving the city. I am entering into the country. I am getting closer to home. I cannot be sad. Joyful we must be at such a time as this. The only thing we need to do is to separate by the grace of God from sin. Because that will cause us to be separated from Jesus. At this time, let us pray, saints of God. Loving, merciful, heavenly Father, sinful and worthy I am. I ask that thou will cleanse me of everything that is unlike thee. Help me to surrender my will totally to thee. Take full control. Lead and direct. We ask for the presence of your Holy Spirit to guide every thought, every action. Let nothing of self be seen, only Jesus be lifted up and glorified. I also ask for forgiveness of sins for your people and for your Holy Spirit to speak to us all and for your holy angels to bind the forces of the evil one. Take full control of the devices, the equipment, that they will function for your honor and glory. Take full control and let your name and your name alone be glorified. We humble ask through no other name but your son Jesus. Amen. Amen. Indeed, saints, it is a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. And as people of God, we have no weapon but the word of God. And that's why it is so important at this time when it is possible for us to acquire a Bible, we get a Bible. And if you don't have a Bible, you should not be sleeping in a bed. Because it is best you sell your bed and buy a Bible. Why? Because B-I-B-L-E, the basic instruction before leaving earth. And if we are thinking about going to heaven, we need to have the word of God that we can apply it to our life. And in order to apply it, we must study it. Because if you are thinking about heaven and you are not feasting on the word of God, the only heaven you will know is new heaven and heaven deal. You can walk out there, you can take a taxi, or you can take a bus, but you will not see the heavens of heavens. We must study the word and allow it to be a part of us. As we study, we must live it. And for the little ones, 
you know that you must take an active part in the worship of God. So turn your Bibles to 2 Kings chapter 22. 2 Kings chapter 22. And you're going to join us in worship because you will be going into the word of God for yourself. So you must know what God is saying to you also as little ones. So the book that we will use is thank you my sister. Will be second Kings chapter 22. Second Kings chapter 22. And we're starting from verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 22. Is there someone with the mic? A young one? All right. Since it is to the back, we're going to start around here. But before we Go into the word. Let us pray. Loving, merciful, heavenly Father, as we now open your word, we ask that thou will bless thy word. Give us a clear understanding and help us not just to be hearers, but may we be doers that we will not deceive ourselves. Cheers, son Jesus, we pray. Amen. So we're starting at verse 1. Yes, my brother, go ahead. First. Second Kings chapter 22. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned, reigned thirty and one years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Jediah, the, da the, the daughter of Adiah of Boscath. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned thirty and one years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jediah, the daughter of Adiah of Boscath. Amen. He was old, just what? Eight years old. Just a child, as you are. Verse 2. And he did th that which was right in the sight of the Lord, and walked in all the way of David his father, and turned away of Tur the turn not turn not away of of David his father, and turn not aside to his right hand, or turn the left. Amen. And turn not aside to the right hand or to the left hand. And as it said at the beginning of verse 2. And he did that which was what? Right in which sight? In the sight of who? The Lord that is of critical importance. Not in my sight or your sight. But in the sight of the Lord. He did that which was what? Alright. The next person will read verse Five. Five. We're jumping. And let them deliver it into the hand of the doers of the work that have the oversight of the house of the Lord. And let them give it to the doers of the work which is in the house of the Lord to repair the breaches of the house. Amen. And as you know, the purpose of the three angels' ministry is also to do what? Repair the breach. Let us see what we need to repair the breach in these closing scenes. And let us go down to verse 8. Next person, please. Verse 8. And Helica, the, pre, the high priest, said unto Zaphon, Describe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Elikiah gave the book to 
Safan and he, he re read it. Read it. Amen. They have what? Found the book of the law. It is of great importance. And let us go down now to verse 10. And Shaphan the scribe, the scribe screwed the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest hath delivered me a book, and, Shah and Shaphan read it before the king. Read Amen. Read it before the king. And verse 11. I will assist in verse 11. And it came to pass when the king had heard the words of the book of the law that he rent his clothes. He repent, knowing that what is written in the book of the law was not being observed. He was sorrowful for that which was going on. And verse 12. And the king commanded Helikiah the priest and Ahikim the son of Shephan, and Atrabor, the son of Micah, and Stephan, the scribe of Asia, a servant of the king, saying, Amen. Verse 13. Verse 13 says, Go ye and quarrel of the Lord for me, and for the people and for all Judah concerning the words of this book that is found for great is the wrath of the Lord that is kindled against us because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book to do according unto all that which is written concerning us Amen Brethren, it is of great importance that we apply the law and the testimony. And if we need to be revived and have reformation and to follow in the path of God, we must stick to the law and to the testimony. Because when the law and the testimony is left out of the church of God, it can only go downward into the path of perdition and as it said in verse 20 chapter 23 verses 1 and the king sent and they gather unto him all the elders of Judea and of Jerusalem and the king went up into the house of the Lord and all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with him and the priests and the prophets and all the people both small and great and he read in their ears all the words of the book of the covenant which was found in the house of the Lord and for us to have revival and reformation we are going back to the book the law and the testimony and that's why brethren we will give the B-I-B-L-E and the spirit of prophecy the straight testimony will be given we will not deviate by the grace of God to the law and to the testimony will be our guide because that was required of Israel when they were in apostasy and that is required of us now if we want to get it right by the grace of God and verse she said and the Lord and the king stood by a pillar and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his what? Commandments and what? And his what? Testimony. And his statue with what? All their heart and all their soul to perform the words of this covenant that were written in this book. And all this pe the people stood to the covenant and so it with us saints we must truly represent Christ at such a time as this we must stand by the law and the testimony we must uphold it virgin we must uphold the law and the testimony 
if we are going to go through the crisis which is right up on us we have no other way because the time of the end time for what revival and reformation and if we are going to get it it must be the straight testimony saints of God as it said when the book of the law was found in the house of the Lord in the time of what ancient Israel it was read before Josiah the king and he what rent his garments and bade the men in all the office to inquire of the Lord for him and for his people for they had what departed from the what of the Lord so it will not be anybody opinion it will not be what brother Hamilton think or what sister Paula think it will be based on the law and the testimony that is what will bring revival and reformation he called together all the men of Israel and the words of the book were what read in the hearing of who the congregation so that is what we will base everything on to the law and to the testimony the sin of the rulers and the people was pointed out brethren when our sins are pointed out let us not rise against the messenger or the message because we will be rising against God the sins of the rulers and the people were pointed out and the king stood up before them and confess is what transgression let us confess sins because Jesus is about to step out of the most holy and where it has not been cleansed it cannot cleanse when Jesus step out he manifested is what repentance and made a covenant to keep the what statues of the Lord with his what all art Josiah did not what rest until the people did all that they what could to return from their what backsliding and serve the living God so it is not backward it is what forward now and it will be based on what the law and the testimony the straight testimony it is not is not this work today is not this our work today yes nothing new Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse what 9 nothing new under the sun so what had happened in the past is being repeated and by God's grace we must get it right saints our fathers have what transgressed and we have what follow in their footsteps but God is merciful but God has what opened the book of the law and the backslidden Israel hears the commandments of the Lord the transgression stands revealed and the wrath of God will be upon every soul that does not repent Virgin, it is time for repentance it is time for revival and reformation as we have started a new year and I can tell you from the outset it will not be a normal one and that's why we need to get it right with God God will be their transgression stand revealed and the wrath of God will be upon every soul that does not repent and reform as the light shines up on his pathway so when it comes to you that you're not eating right repent when it comes to you that you're not dressing right repent when it comes to you that you're not sleeping right repent when it comes to you that you're not working right, repent. Because if you eat like Babylon, dress like Babylon, walk like Babylon, talk like Babylon, you're going to burn like Babylon. When Josiah heard the words of the warning, and what? Condemnation because Israel had what? Trampled up on the precept of heaven. He what? Humble himself. And it is time for us saints to humble ourselves because Jesus is about to come he wept before the Lord he made a what thorough work of what repentance and what reformation and God accepted his effort that is what is asked of 
us now, saints. We must turn. The whole congregation of Israel enter into a what? A solemn covenant to keep the commandments of Jehovah. This is our work today. We must repent of the past evil of our doings and seek God with all our hearts. We must believe that God means just what he says, saints, and makes no compromise with evil in any way. We cannot make any compromise. And that's why we cannot go with the Babylonian system at this time. We must follow Jesus, even if it's going to cost you your life. You must not compromise. It's a what? With evil in any way. We should greatly humble ourselves before God and consider any loss preferable to the loss of his favor. So if you're going to lose your wife for standing up on Jesus, all you need to say, my sweet companion, fear thee well. I will not go. I will not go with thee to hell. And if it's the house, let it go. If it's the car, let it go. Because if you don't cut it off, it's going to cut you off. Christ left what? All to save man from the what? The consequence and the penalty of the transgression of the law. We have nothing down here, saints. But God, Jesus, had everything and what he do, he left it to come and save us. So what you're holding on to, you're holding on to nothing. We are holding on to nothing. The way from the manger to Calvary was marked with blood. And that's why blood will have to run. But if you, you, if you lose your head in standing for the truth, we have been promised a what? A crown. Crown don't go on neck. Crown go on head. So don't worry. Make head rule. You will get it back to get your crown. The son of God did not deviate from the part of what? Unwavering obedience. Even to the death of the cross. So we must be willing to die for the truth because this is the time in which we are living he endured all the what woe of man's sin and shall we turn and shall we turn away from the commandments of the Lord because it involves the loss of what friends position our worldly gain saints we cannot afford to turn Will you not take will you not take away your feet from trampling upon the Sabbath of Jehovah? Brethren, we must get it right. Sabbath reform is of great importance. You cannot be in the supermarket with those jostling and I say, move up, move up, move up. You must welcome the Sabbath. You cannot be welcoming the Sabbath when you're in traffic. If the Prime Minister coming to, to meet you at your house, you will not be in traffic, you will be there. But the kings of kings, the Lord of lords is coming to meet us. And we are not home, we are not settled to welcome the Sabbath. It is of the devil. Cut it out or it's going to cut you off. Will you continue to what? Rob God of his holy time? Lord, forgive us of stealing. Because we have steal all the time so often. Forgive us, Lord. Please, Lord. You cannot afford to do this work of making by the law of God. It is at an eternal loss that you rebel against the truth of heaven. These are not my word. These are the word of God. And since Truly, Jesus is pleading his blood before the Father. And now, while mercy seems linger, the time is coming. Jesus is about to stand up, saints. You're going to see that Jesus is about to stand up because the signs are clear that will show us that Jesus will not stay in the most holy much longer. But now, Jesus' blood is what? pleading before the Father. And now while mercy lingers and probation is prolonged, seek the approbation of heaven. Delay not 
to keep the commandments of the Lord. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will what? Have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. And that's why it is time for what? Revival and reformation. Revival and reformation are two different things. Revival signifies a renewal of spiritual life. And that is what we need now, saints. Our spiritual life must come up. It must rise to the standard set by God, not by man. A quickening of the powers of mind and heart. A resurrection from spiritual death. We must come alive at such a time as this. Reformation signifies a reorganization and as we go through this process we will be using the law and the testimony just as Josiah did and that's why we must apply the word of God a changing ideas and theories habits and practices so who not sleeping right who not eating right who not dressing right let us get it right now because tomorrow might just be too late Reformation will not Reformation will not bring forth the good fruit of righteousness unless it is connected with the revival of the spirit. Revival and reformation are to do their appointed work and doing this work they must blend. Yes, saints. Truly, we are in serious time. And you're going to see, we must get it right now, saints. Because a time of trouble, such as never was, is about to break out upon this earth. We are the final generation. We are going to experience the second coming of Jesus. If a car don't bounce you, or something unusual happen to you, our eyes will be whole. The signs are clear that Jesus is is about to come as we dig a little deeper in the word of god we need more of his holy spirit to understand spiritual things let us pray loving heavenly father truly the signs are clear your second coming is even at the door we need a double portion of thy Holy Spirit to enlighten our darkness that we will understand the time in which we are living and that we will surrender all on the altar of sacrifice and that we will deny self and take up our cross and follow thee. Lead now, allow your name to be glorified. Cover us all under your blood. Cleanse us, please. And may we understand your truth for this time your son Jesus we pray amen indeed saints as we can see the things that are happening in our world is showing us that Jesus is about to come our climate lockdowns beginning and English county will require permits Virgin it is coming back COVID lockdown is nothing to what is coming saints and we have been told that we must be in the Boris Johnson has pledged to what build back greener and in his 10 point plan he makes it clear that massive changes in transportation will be part of that the British government claim it is not trying to restrict anyone's movement but the end result of more expensive vehicle and strict traffic control will be to restrict movement brethren truly these signs are showing us that Jesus is about to come and if you think the bullet gone it no gone seeing Paul say being unpoisoned is criminal and those people shouldn't leave their homes so
homes. You see how serious it is, brethren? So if we don't know Jesus for ourselves, what will we do, saints? And that's why I know it's time for revival and reformation. It's, it is Sean Penny. It is time to what? Sin and poison. Citizen to wear. To jail. Virgin is serious time we are in. The signs. Outrage as woke science saying Americans and poisons against COVID should pay higher car insurance premium. Everything, brethren, is aiming at the people of God. But will we trust God? As we see the signs are clear, it is showing that Jesus is about to come. Faith of the living world will be decided at COP 15, says scientists. They said a leading study of the effect of the poison lockdown show all the reduction in traffic, industrial noise and pollution, and human wildfire contact led to a wide range of positive impact. So they use it, brethren. As I have said on several occasions, it was the mock exam. So who believe they are to put on the mask, they are to take their joke to go through, when the real thing come, which is the mark of the beast, put it on, then try to take it off. Accept it, then try to take it off. If you don't know how to trust God now in the little time of trouble, how you gonna trust him when things get greater? You must learn to trust God now because the real exam is about to begin. China's surge raises out of what? New coronavirus virgin it is not it is it has gone nowhere but it's going to get worse us to require what negative covid test for travelers from china who rush to book international flight triggering a surge in ticket prices a lot of us seems like everything is going back to normal people traveling and people forget about country living for such a time as this and everybody want to settle down back to a normal life that day will never come this is the turn for whom and it's gonna take everything for you to make it to the finish line because we will all be tested to the core this is it virgin we are now on the final stress U.S. waste COVID prevention measures for our travelers from China. Waste it. Virgin, look there. What is coming down? Climate lockdown trial to begin in 2024. Virgin, we are heading in serious time. And that's why we must get it right now. The signs are clear. Jesus is about to come. Virgin, Department of, Law, of Homeland Security. God giving us a little more time. May we not waste this time before the one eye devil, the TV, or Facebook. But may we do the necessary preparation, brethren. Merciful is our Savior. But may we use it. The program which was to begin in May 2023. Which year are we in, saints? will no go will no not go into effect until when may 7 2025 virgin we can only plead to god because although they give that date the devil know that his time is short and he is the one leading the way in this department saints let us not lose sight because a climate lockdown coming because of a climate emergency. Brethren, no, it is not a what? It is coming. Coming soon, climate lockdowns. They are coming. Global elite announced plan for what? Mandatory green Sabbath and climate lockdowns. See, they put it together. The green Sabbath, another name for the green Sabbath. Present truth, believer, is what? Another name. 
Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. Mark of the beast. See, they're putting it together. To implement the mark of the beast, you will be locked down. The coming climate lockdown. Brethren, everything is happening fast. I have said it that the COVID was the mock exam. You didn't believe? Marco Miranda, COVID 19 lockdown set precedent for what? So, as you see, you just went through your mock exam. We are about to do final exam. So if you could not trust God in the mark exam, what will you do now in the final exam? A lot of us believe we could put on the mask, go and buy things. We could, we want to take the job, did it. But in this one, you cannot put on and take off. So that's why we have to have faith in God. And that's why they said the message for this time is righteousness by faith. Total dependency upon Jesus. Each of us must have that personal relationship. They want to use the COVID lockdown as a model for the climate lockdown. Oh, brethren, may we understand the truth for this time. And brethren, if you will be locked down in the cities, you better be prepared for eat concrete. If you are not doing the necessary preparation that God has asked us for such a time as this, you will have to eat like Babylon and then you will get what Babylon is going to get because Babylon will dictate to you. Babylon will be in charge of you because as Josiah, when he learned from the books of the law, he decided to follow all that was therein. And we have been told again and again the Lord has what? Instructed that our people are to take their families away from the cities. And brethren will come and say, everybody can go to our country. Country land is not enough for everybody who fail to go into the earth. Don't. Who fail to come out of Saddam. Burn. So if you want to stay in the city, we, we are just here to give the word of God to the law and to the testimony into the country where they can raise their own provision. So if you believe you can eat concrete, you can eat asphalt, or you can eat dirt, you can stay where you are. For what? For in the future, the problem of buying and selling will be a what? A very serious one. We should now begin to do what? Eat the instruction given what? Given us what? Over and over again. Get out of the cities into rural districts where the houses are not crowded closely together and where you will be free from the interference of enemies. See, this is the time in which we are living. Jesus is about to come and it is time for revival and reformation and the only way we can be revived and reformed that we must apply the law and the testimony and only this straight testimony for such a time as this not what we believe or what we say but it must be based on the law and the testimony Isaiah 8 verse 20 it is here virgin Everything is being put in place to keep us down. And there is one book everybody in the world is seeking to read. Only those who have an understanding of the truth for this time is not being caught. Everybody is reading what? La Dato Si. Virgin, it is serious time. Let us not be caught using that. Pope Francis asks us to do what? Prepare the future. Not prepare for the future. That is preparing. That is prepared and anticipate it. As what? That is the book almost the entire world is using. And that's why we give instruction here that we must use the B-I-B-L-E basic instruction before leaving earth and not that which is of the devil. Brethren, we cannot use that 
It is coming from the pit of hell. The Pope is the Antichrist. He is the devil right hand man. And we will not go with him. We are called to do what? Expose the wickedness of the man of sin. See, there is Sunday like the Jewish Shabbat. That is of the devil. Because when you go to, go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 and 3, there was no Jews. But there was the Sabbath. So we know that he is the Antichrist. We cannot go with him. World Economic Forum called for what? Artificial intelligence to monitor disinformation. Ape. To monitor disinformation. Ape speech. Brethren, we must understand this. God has given us a message for this time. What is the message, saints? That third angel message. But this message will cause you to lose your life. Will you then turn from the commandments of God because you want food? You must be willing to die because shortly you will not be able to come and say the poor is the man of sin because you will be locked up. You will have those around you waiting to lock you up if you say anything that goes against the poor. But God is calling for Elijah, John the Baptist. John the Baptist wasn't afraid to tell the king what was right. And that is what God is calling for at this time. Those who will stand on eternal truth to the law and to the testimony death before dishonor. We will call the Pope, the man of sin, the antichrist, the devil right hand man. We will not go with the beast nor his agency. This is it. This explains why the what? World Economic, World Economic Forum needs to move beyond the major internet platform. They're going to shut us down. But we rely not on man. We rely on Jesus. Just as Philip did not rely on car, bus, or truck. God move him. So don't think you have to take a job. Because you need to get your license to drive. We don't rely on man, brethren. We rely on God. When man seek to shut down or close a door, it is God opportunity when it is man extremity. So brethren, we must know God personally and we must not deny him for anything of this world. And God is calling for the Elijah. When they see to block us, they can only do what God allow and can go no further than what he allow. Because brethren, let us come to the fact the third angel message cannot be stopped. It must go to the entire globe. So whatever the devil and his agency are planning, it cannot be stopped. This message is going to mad the devil. It's going to mad when we stand by the grace of God and let people know that Sunday worship is the mark of the beast. It is of the devil because he seeks to counterfeit everything that God has put in place. We own, this, we own the science. They believe they own everything. UN rep admits partnering with Big Tech to what censor distorted information. But by the grace of God, we will not stop in giving the third angel message because it cannot stop. So don't go anywhere else. Stay under the banner of the three angel message. Under the banner of Prince Emmanuel. Go global thought leaders assemble at where you see say, everything is coming from where the man of sin where they where they assemble at the vatican for what transhuman code meeting of the mind and that's why brethren we must apply the moral law and the natural law we cannot now take the things of babylon they want to destroy the frontal lobe science and that's why it must be revival, reformation. We must eat right. We must dress right. We must sleep right. That God can keep us in these trying our sins. These are the final hours of this earth history. The signs are clear, saints. The signs are clear. 
Jesus is about to come and the man of sin, the devil right hand man, is right behind everything. The Pope has what? Joined forces with what? Microsoft and IBM to create our doctrine for what? Ethical Allah and facial recognition. Here is how the Vatican wants to shape AI. Brethren, serious time. Serious time we are living. But if there was one sin above another, which called for the destruction of the race by the flood, it was the what? Base crime of what? Amalgamation. And that is what they are doing now in a different form. So that's why we know that Jesus is about to come. Jesus is about to stand up in the most holy. And that's why today is when we must get victory over sin. And of man and beast which deface the image of God and cause confusion everywhere. Brethren, some things are about to happen. Because it will be confusion everywhere. Because of what they are doing. God's purpose to destroy by a flood. That powerful, long-lived race that had what? Corrupted their ways before him. He would not suffer them to live out the days of their natural life, which would be hundreds of years. And that's why we must get it right. Because is America preparing the way for a one world order? We have been told that America will lead the way into the mark of the beast crisis. Look, saints, those in the world are realizing what is coming. What is God's people doing? Is those in darkness has become wiser than the children of light? The time is coming when the world will be, when the world will what? Fall under the spell of what? The ultimate power, junk rulers, junk with the wine of Babylon and that's why we cannot partake of the wine of Babylon he will rise at a time of what? Great confusion and that's why they seek to take over the mind and to confuse the people, so even those in the world are realizing that something serious is about to happen but God has given us light upon light brethren will we shun the light and walk in darkness he will rise at a time of what great confusion and chaos in the world and we can see it now he will rise during the condition of global fear and unrest and that's why the bible have said let us turn to the bible saints because this is what we will stand on first first timothy chapter one verse nine First Timothy chapter 1 First Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 First Timothy No I think I gave you the First Timothy chapter Second Timothy char, sorry saying Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 It said For thanks. Amen. As it said, for God had not what given us the spirit of what? Fear, but of what? Power and of what? Love and of our what? Sound mind. So when everybody is in what? Fear and confusion. The people of God must come to the forefront with the truth for this time. And that's why we cannot have any donkey fears at such a time as this. Because we have the knowledge of what is going on. And we must stand on eternal truth. And warn all who is about to perish. Saints of God. Because the prophecy is sure. We can see all the things that God has said in his word. Is happening right before our eyes. Saints of God. Truly Jesus is about to come. And as we saw the signs. As Matthew chapter 24 verses 1 to 9 tell us about these things truly we know that we are what living in the last days what time are we living in we are living in the time of the 
end, the fast fulling, fulfilling signs of the time declares that the coming of Christ is near at hand. Truly we can trust the word of God. The days in which we live are what? Solemn and important. The spirit of God is what? Gradually but surely being withdrawn from the earth. And if we don't have revival and reformation, it will depart from us. And without the spirit of God, we are doomed. So saints, if we need to get it right, it is no. Plagues and judgment are already falling up on the despisers of the grace of God. The calamities by land and sea, the unsettled state of society, the alarms of war, the portentous are portentous. They, for, they forecast approaching events of the what greatest magnitude. Since these are serious times, we cannot take our soul salvation for granted. We must be digging in the word of God. We must apply in the word of God. When the truth comes to us, we cannot shun it at such a time as this. The agencies of evil are combining their forces and are consolidating. And that's why God said his people must now come together and stand under the bloodstained banner of Prince Emmanuel and give the message for this time. They are strengthening for what the last great crisis and we can see that they are working together. But will we not stand seeing at such a time as this? Great changes are soon to take place in our world. And don't miss this. The final movements will be rapid ones. Brethren, 2023 will not be a normal year. But will the Elijah come forth? Will the John the Baptist come forth? The condition of things in the world shows that trouble sometimes are right upon us. And based on the signs we could have seen, because we have been given information, what the daily papers are full of what? Indications of our terrible conflict in the near future. We saw them saints. Bold robbers are a frequent occurrence. Strikes are common. Men possessed of what demons are taking the lives of men, women, and little children. Men have become infatuated with vice, and every species of evil prevail. Species that I'm doing what? The antediluvian world. Nothing new under the sun. Saints, truly. In the great cities there are what? Multitudes living in what? Poverty. But is there a solution? Country living. Get a little piece of land and farm it. And you will be able to take care of yourself and your family. And share with others. Spending their money on what? Richly furnished houses. And personal adornment. Are worse still open gratification of sensual appetites upon liquor, tobacco, and other things that destroy the powers of the brain and balance the mind and debase the soul. And that's why Babylon is working. And that's why even as parents, we know that you must feed your children according to the law and the testimony. But when we go to the supermarket, we take up on something named cheat chicks. We take up on next thing named sweet biscuit. We take up all these things which is of the devil. And go and feed our children and expect them to be ready for Jesus' second coming. They cannot. And that's why we must get it right. Because it is time for revival and reformation. And we dress them like Babylon and expect them to be ready. If we deviate from the law and the testimony, you can only go by New Haven. Somewhere down there, you walk out there. Or you take a taxi and go by Haven deal. I am what instructed that when the Lord's time come, should no change have taken place in the hearts of proud 
ambitious human beings men will find that the hands that had what been strong to save will be strong to what so if you reject the word of God what will happen to you destruction doom there are not many even among educators and statesmen who comprehend the causes that underline the present state of society who knows what is going on now seven day adventists who are studying the bible and the spirit of prophecy and that's why we cannot sit down now saints we must take the truth for this time to the world those who hold the reins of government are not able to solve the problem of moral corruption poverty pause your prism and increase crime they are struggling in vain to place business operation on a more secure bias if men would give more heed to what to the teaching of god's word they would find a solution of the problem that perplex them and that's why we must be digging science more in the bible and the spirit of prophecy to understand what is going on science because jesus is about to come and we must be ready to go home with him look what happened in the past but who read the warning given by the what fast fulfilling signs of the time what impression is made upon whirlings what change is seen in their attitude no more than that no more than was seen in the what attitudes of the what of the of the Noah Noah can world observing what worldly business and pleasure the antediluvians knew not until the flood came and took them all away will we allow that to be repeated we cannot see it. we must take heed of the warning they had ever sent warnings but they what refused to listen and today the world utterly regard regardless of the what warning voice of god is hurrying unto eternal ruin since we must get it right now and that's why it must be time for revival and reformation the world is still with what spirit of war the prophecy of the 11th chapter of daniel has nearly reached its complete fulfillment soon the scenes of trouble spoken of in the prophecy will take place truly alas for the day for the day of the lord is at hand and as a destruction from the almighty shall it come truly saints jesus is about to come because why satan is a what a diligent bible student he knows that is what time is short but we believe we have all the time in the world and he what seeks at what every point to do what counter work counter work the work of the lord upon this earth they will walk in the light proceeding from the throne of god by means of the angel there will be constant communication between what heaven and earth saints and satan surrounded by evil angels are claiming to be god will work miracles of all kinds to deceive if possible the very elect but brethren we have a what more sure word of what prophecy god's people will not find their safety in the workings of what miracles for satan will counterfeit the miracles that will be wrought god's tried and tested people will find their power in what the signs spoken of in exodus chapter 31 verses 12 to 18 and that is what to the law 
and to the testimony that is the commandments the character of God and this is what we must use it is written this is the only foundation foundation upon which they can stand securely we must stand on the word of God saints there is nowhere else we can stand the worshiper of God will be what especially distinguished by their what regard for what the fourth commandment so when the mark of the beast is enforced up on this world we must remember we must keep the seventh day sabbath holy not the first why since this is the signs of god's creative power and the witness to his claim up on man's reverence and homage and that's why we must keep it virgin those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus and those who worship the beast and his image and receive his mark. Also, church and what state will unite their power to compel all, both what? Small and great. Revelation chapter 13. Poor, free and what? Bound to receive the mark of the beast. Brethren, this is sweet. Yet the people of God, yet the people of God will not receive it. So we have no reason to succumb to sin. There is no excuse for sin. No excuse. Because once we stand on eternal truth to the law and to the testimony, we will not receive the mark of the beast. We will not receive the mark of the beast. The prophet of Patmos behold, them that had what? Gotten what? Victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name. Stand on the sea of glass, having the arms of God and singing the song of Moses and the lamb we have a more sure road saints we can stand it truly and god fearful tests and trial away the people of god the spirit of war is tearing the nation from one end of the earth to the other but in the midst of the time of what trouble that is coming a time of what trouble such as never was god chosen people will stand what and move Satan and his host cannot destroy them. For angels that excel in strength will protect them. And that's why the people of God at such a time as this cannot have donkey fears, cannot have long fears. Because God has put everything in place for us. All, is, all he needs is just one who will be obedient. Just like Daniel, he was willing to stand even at the perils of his life. Where are those who will stand like the three Hebrew boys? All, those, all of these things are coming. God must have a remnant who will not bow who will stand because Jesus is in charge. The surprising stickiness of the 15 minute city. It is here saying, as climate change and global, global conflict shock and stress at faster interval and increase severity, the 15 minute city will become even more critical. Brethren, take note when we examine the gated communities. Everything you can get in it. Brethren, it is time for us to get out. Jesus is about to come. We need to get it right. It is serious time, brethren. Let us not be deceived. Look, brethren, that is what is happening. Loving, merciful, heavenly Father. Your truth, your word are so sure. Thank you, Lord, for discernment at such a time as this. Brethren, they came up because their plans are laid long in advance that we need to develop these gated community because they knew what they are planning. But thanks be to God. God has told us that we must be in the country for such a time as this. We have been warned before them. The only reason they get ahead of us is because we have what? 
churn away the law and the testimony and just as Josiah when it was found ready to the people we are giving back the law and the testimony that God people can be prepared Paris Paris planning to become a 15 minute city brethren it is time to do what get out of the cities get out scenes we are everything you need is within a 15 minute radius and foot our bike country living brethren country living brethren they are putting everything in place and look who is behind it world economic forum which is led by the devil himself he is the one giving them instruction he is sitting there councils major US banks make job cut in preparation for a what economic downturn Virgin, your money is about to disappear before your eyes it is coming it is coming imagine you can only use 45 dollars a day you will soon go to the atm and when you're pushing you might see come up on the screen you did not get your bullet no money turn back Brethren, is no joking time and that's why by the grace of god the money must now be used to put yam coco cho cho dashin in the earth and banana planting because when you cut a banana it don't ask you for a mask nor any bullet again and again the lord has what instructed that our people are to take their what families away from where the city into the country where they can do what raise their own provision brethren we have to repeat it for us to understand what is really coming because we are sleeping and no time is to be awakened the beast is moving the dragon is roaring but god people are sleeping it is time for us to be awakened we should now begin to eat the instruction given what over and over again get out of the cities into rural district where the houses are not crowded closely together and where you will be free from interference of the enemies saints god has spoken the word has spoken it is time for us to take heed because they are putting everything in place to destroy us mr floodgate you think he's joking gives him what exclusive right to come man you see the amalgamation taking place at such a time to do what come computerized human body serious time science the signs are clear BBC predicts in 1968 that was in the past microchipping world government control of what all information and we are seeing these things now happening there is not much longer AI brain implants that can change a person's mood are tested on what humans by the what US military brethren if we need to have a relationship with Jesus it is now it is finished science truly these are the last days of this earth history the final movements are rapid ones you will own nothing and you will be happy in the country not with that system we cannot go with it science we must go with Jesus but brethren, God is not asking us to be fearful as we have read from the word of God. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou has been what? Honorable. And I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, sins. 
for I am with thee. I will bring thy seeds from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the everyone that is called by my name for I have created him for my glory I have formed him yea I have made him Isaiah 43 verse 7 we need not to be fearful saints we just need by the grace of God to be separated from sin and to trust Jesus fully justification by faith righteousness by faith let us not lose sight at such a time as this all these things we have been told would come to pass but as the people of God we have eternal truth we have a more sure word of prophecy and once we stand an eternal truth and purpose in our heart to have revival and reformation which is based on the Bible and the spirit of prophecy we need not to be fearful because Jesus will see us true just remember what the word of god declared to us in exodus chapter 3 exodus chapter 14 verses 13 and 14 and moses said unto the people fear ye not stand still and see the salvation of the lord which he will show to you today for the Egyptians whom you have seen today, he shall see them again what? No more for the forever. Verse 14. The Lord shall what? Fight for us and he shall own your peace. One condition and is that we must be what? Obedient to the word of God. As it has been declared, declared in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Man shall not live by what? But by what? That proceeded out of the mouth of God. Once we hold to the word of God and purpose that we will live by it, even at the perils of our life, there is nothing to fear because Jesus is in charge at such a time as this. May by the grace of God, saints, we will be faithful even unto death. At this time, as we are about to pray, if there is anyone in the congregation who purpose in their heart that not in their strength or in their might, because we have nothing, but by the grace of God, you will stand even at the perils of your life. You may know hold up your hand as we seek to pray for that one or two who purpose that by the grace of God they will stand even at such a time as this knowing that it is not time for us to be fearful but to be faithful heaven take record let us pray loving merciful heavenly father sinful and worthy i am i ask that thou will forgive me of my sins if i had said or done anything that is not according to your will i ask for forgiveness of my sins and for all those who have raised their hand purpose in their heart that by your grace we will stand we ask that thou will strengthen us as you have promised for the weakest sinner and his knee you will send the house of heaven in his defense as we purpose to stand we ask that thou will grant us the help you have promised that we will not deny you even at the perils of our life cover us all under your blood and may we truly represent you that we will be christian christ-like and that sin will become hateful and righteousness by your grace will be seen in our life thank you for your son who came and died for our sin cleanse us of everything that is unlike thee and help us lord to glorify thee through your son jesus we pray